Hi, welcome back to the channel uh, and we're going to be taking a look at the Nissan Duke because we are getting a bit of a cold start problem. My suspicion is the glow plugs or the glow plug relay. So fairly simple job to take a look, fairly accessible on those cars as well. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. So what do we need to do? Well, the glow plugs sit on these cables here, just underneath the cover. So what we're going to need to do is take the cover off. Now to do that, uh, I think we have to take the oil filler off, which is these couple of bolts here. We've then got one bolt there, one bolt there. We'll unclip the pipe from here. Take this off, this is the turbo pipe. Um, now hopefully there'll be enough flex on this flexi joint here that we can just then lift that out the way, take the cover off and we should get access. off you can see it just kind of flexes now so I'm going to leave that just flexing a bit I don't really want to take the whole thing off uh, let's get these two these two out they look like 10 yep 10 This one looks problematic because of where it is. I'll see if I can use it on the flexi, see if I can get in there. Yeah, that's a problem. Go with ring spanner. Shouldn't be that tight. There we go. Let's get this hose disconnected and the hose cover and see how much flex we actually get in this. Not convinced how much we're going to get here, but let's give it a try anyway. Looks like a six maybe, a seven. Yeah, seven. So the turbo pipe that comes from the intercooler I believe hopefully we're not going to see too much oil inside there it goes no not too bad actually just a little spattering so I'm going to just clean that so we don't get oil dripping that pipe spins out the way that's another 10 Looks like that pipe's going to move quite nicely now. Let's see about this. Oh, okay, there's a couple of little plastic clips at the front of the engine cover. Let's just check that's free. Let's see how we can squeeze this out. This does look like it's going to be tricky.
go. One of the clips did fall off, so that's something just to be aware of. But I just heard that hit the ground, so I'll grab that. And now we can get a bit of access. Let's take you in and show you the glow plugs. So, well, you can see the glow plug connectors are actually on the end of these little plastic sticks. So you can use that to just lift up. There we go. So there we have, hopefully you can see that on the camera. So there's one of the glow plug connectors and we can now just see the tip of the glow plug. I'll just touch that so you can see it, hopefully, on the camera. It's quite difficult to get you a good, good view, but hopefully you can now see the tip of the glow plug. What I'm going to do is take all four connectors off and then we can test the glow plugs and see if any of them are working or which ones are faulty. Now I've got all four glow plug connectors off and I've exposed the top of the glow plugs. What I can do is I can test them. Now ideally you want a glow plug test light which is uh, really useful for this. Now I don't have one of those, I have a multimeter. Now ideally you also want the multimeter to go down to a very low ohm range. You're talking below 10. Now mine won't do that, but it does have this 200 setting. And what I can do is I can compare a brand new glow plug against what's already in the car. And I can get an idea and also match all four of the glow plugs up and see what values I get. So here's the new glow plug. So if I put the meter on, onto resistance, hopefully you can see it. What I want to do is put the ground on the body of the glow plug and the tip on the top there. Okay, and you can see we get a resistance of around 13 ohms. So what we can do is we can try that on the car's existing glow plugs. Now what I do is I connect one of the probes to the chassis. Now I'm going to, uh, let's see, where's, where's going to be easiest? On there like that. And now if I go down onto this glow plug here, hopefully, okay, I've got a reading of 14 ohms, which sounds about right. It sounds close to the other one. So let me go on to the second glow plug. Around about exactly the same 14 ohms. Onto the third one. Oops. Again, about 14 ohms. And the fourth one. Fourteen ohms again. So the downside to this is that looks like all four glow plugs are working perfectly. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. I was hoping one of those might have flagged up, one or two of those. But uh, that's how that's how you test the glow plugs, so I think they're working. The next thing that we want to test is whether the glow plugs are getting voltage when you turn the ignition on. So when the ECU and the car first turns on, it should give 12 volts to these plugs. So what I'm going to do is change my meter over to up to 20 volts. Just put the glow plug connectors back on again, push them and they kind of click as they drop into place. So make sure they're pushed on nice and cleanly and click into place. Well, I've put the engine cover back on, as you can see, uh, put all the pipes back on and connected everything back up again. 
Um, now the only thing that I did notice is I did put the 12 volt meter on to the glow plug connector turned the ignition on it only shows 12 volts for a brief second now I'm not sure if there is a, a glow plug module on this car that I want to try and find out but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a multimeter onto the battery terminals to view the voltage of the battery then turn the ignition on because if if those glow plugs they're around about 10 to 15 amps each and there's four of them that's a lot of current being pulled from the battery and if the battery's ever so slightly weak we can see whether the voltage drops too low and if it does that could be causing our slow start um, because the, the glow plugs seem okay so I've got some spare glow plugs for a 1.5 DCI engine now but never mind the, the glow plugs actually on these ones I think they were only 15 pounds for for four of them so it's a very cheap option um, and worth worth testing and I, I just thought I'd get them so at least I had them here should I need to change them because there's nothing worse than opening it up and uh, then finally you don't need to change or sorry you do need to change them and you don't actually have the replacements there um, so let's get a meter on and have a look at what the what the voltage of the battery looks like so we've got it on volt 20 volts. Let's put it onto the battery terminals and let's have a look and see what our idle. Oops. So we're at 12.18 volts, which for idle doesn't seem too bad. What I'm going to do is hopefully you're going to be able to see see this. And I'm going to go and turn the ignition on and then we can take a look and see what the voltage drops down to whilst the glow plugs are on. Let's just see how much voltage drop we get. I mean the glow plug light doesn't stay on very long either. It stayed on, now it's turned off. So we had it for a few seconds there. What I'm going to do is look back on the footage and uh, see what it shows so actually after looking at that the voltage 11 it dropped to about 10 with the glow plugs on that's without turning the starter motor over um, so the battery's probably not at its best it's not as bad as it could be I mean, you can see there it's slowly recovering 11.9 after turning the, the ignition on a couple of times um, not a definitive test, I might get the battery charger onto it just to be sure and uh, see if that helps us out here. Sadly that's not much of a definitive fix this time round. Um, I was really hoping that some of those glow plugs were going to be bad and that that was going to be a fairly easy fix to swap them out. The principle's the same, you saw how how to get at the glow plugs and at least you know how to test them on the 1.5 so this is the Renault 1.5 K9 engine the DCI so at least now you know where the glow plugs are how to test them um, get the battery on charge and let's see if that helps our cold start fingers crossed and I uh, hope you like this video please do give me a thumbs up a like uh, and stay subscribed for some more videos or if uh, you've got any ideas pop them in the comments down below we really appreciate them i'll see you next time